Hello guys, welcome to another new video of sheet metal industry and this video is all about how you set up the price and how do you calculate the cost for your projects. So without wasting any more time, let's dive in to see who this video is intended for. So this video is for estimators. So those people who have just started their journey into engineering field and for them it is very important to see how they price the project. This video is also important for any tradesman who wants to start their own business, not from the company, they want to leave their company, who wants to start their own business as a sheet metal industry. This video is also useful for new sheet metal based business, just like someone coming from completely different field, have a little knowledge and they want to start a business. This is use, very useful for you. And another very important uh, segment where this video is going to be useful for the existing business who wants to add on sheet metal industry, but don't know how to price them. So this is a very important video for you guys. Let's go back and start. So very important things of this video is it will show you how to find a supplier, how to work out your cost, how to work out your margin, and how to put all together into a quote and present it to a company. Okay, so let's start with how to find the right suppliers. Having the right suppliers is a very important thing. So finding how and why it is important, let's go and check it out. So easiest way to find it is now just Google it. Just Google, you need a stainless steel supplier, Google stainless steel supplier. You need a mild steel supplier, Google mild steel suppliers. But there is a lot of advertisements. So what do you do is you go to your search page and try to ring them one by one. So there are some people who just outsource. There are some people who, who are importing and then distributing there are some people who are manufacturing in your local place so make sure you call them and find out also very important thing before going forwards is to know your requirement so make sure you know what you need before calling them and how do you know your own requirement is following up with the customer's requirement now, why having multiple suppliers is important. So we can track supplier one's price with supplier two, even though they're both having the same product, but you will always see a price variance. You have to consider price, quality, and lead time. For example, some of the suppliers are located near to your place, near to your workshop, and some of the suppliers are far quite far from your workshop but they are cheaper and the near to yours is a bit expensive so you have to consider that kind of stuff also very important thing is a lead time so generally those suppliers who provide you quick and early turnaround they are quite more on pricing side but in terms of quality, you have to actually make sure what the customer needs. Otherwise, milestone is a milestone. Just ask them for certificates. They will provide you and it's all good. Another thing is, very important thing, there are different suppliers having different prices. Uh, so try to find out one price, call the other company, try to find out the other price and you again call back to first company, hey, this supplier is giving me in this price. What should I do? Then they will explain you whether is it a Chinese steel, Indian steel, Korean steel, or coming from somewhere else, or is it a locally manufactured steel? So these are very important factors to consider. Okay, now let's go back and see how that affects our cost. So the most important things uh, to consider for sheet metal caustic is a uh, setup time, hourly rate, consumables, and thicknesses. Ideally, in sheet metal industry, all the same thicknesses and same metal will go together. That means if we have, let's go, uh, that means we have 
five customers with one thickness so we will all put that together to save up the money time and cost also when it comes to folding we do the same uh, same material same thickness same settings we we fold them all together to save up your cost but we need to find out what the cost is so we should really invest in a proper nesting software or proper coating software that can nest with different thicknesses as well also one of the important thing that you need to consider is the designing time sometime people will just give you a piece of paper and say hey uh, can you just make this so we have to spend time to design that stuff and put that into a computer convert into a step file or dxf file and then put it through a estimation software all these things takes time so if you are designing make sure you consider the cost for your designing next is hourly rate make sure you are all up to date with your hourly rate thickness changes makes a setup changes for example if you have one customer is asking for five different parts they are all in different thicknesses you will charge different setup times per thicknesses but same customer is asking all different file parts in the same thickness what will happen is the setup time will distribute between themselves so it will not show up quite expensive because whenever you change the thickness you also have to consider how much time does it take to switch over the sheet metal plate or switch or switch over the sheet metal press break settings so make sure you always charge enough for your extra setup and make sure what are your hourly rate so you have to work out your hourly rate now as i told you earlier setting up cost is extremely important so try to organize multiple jobs in a single setup and when you are pricing it just go through with it and see if there are five five mil miles to thicknesses job are there then that will have single setup and there is one just one two mil miles to jobs there it will have separate single setup also it varies depending on the quantity so same thickness same material multiple customer same setup it's a really thing handy thing to have it with you so let's go dive in i think i forgot one thing when considering cost you also consider the consumable so if for sheet metal industry make sure you consider for papers print software that you guys use grinder disc all those welding tools laser gas like nitrogen oxygen co2 make sure you guys consider that into cost now how to set up the margins for your company so there are two ways first you work out how much time does it take for you to do the job plus if there is any outsourcing then you go and ask for this so if there is an outsourcing you call the company find the suppliers like i showed you in first step ask for the price at 20 to 30 percent or 30 to 40 percent plus add the transportation for cost for sending it and receiving them back so add, add everything and on each component add 30 to 40 percent if you need to think about designing time just add that up and add 30 percent so this is the easiest way to find the cost and add the margin in the sheet metal industry that's the ideal rates of 30 percent plus markup so whatever the cost is plus 30 percent is a markup so simple easy add all the cost and then add 30 percent to that now comes the important part how to decide a coding software there are some softwares where you can find different variations which cannot do some stuff but some software can do something different for example some softwares can work out 
on a local computer based system and some software works of cloud based system or internet based system so make sure you know what you are doing uh, ask these questions to your software providers make sure your softwares can read dxfs they can also read step file make sure they automatically reads the thickness from the step file so all you need to do is just put the material in it should be easy and simple it should be present on cloud so if you go out uh, on a trip or if you go out at customer's place you should be able to access it through your phone make sure it integrates with accounting and purchasing software so yeah and it has a nice presentable view and it doesn't consume a lot of time so that's basically how you set up the whole costing software of your company now i would really want to thank you for coming to my channel and thank you very much for subscribing as well